Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your character do something amazing. That's right, jump. Oh, yeah, that's right, some jumping. You see that. If your character is stuck on the floor for some reason and you're ready to get on the Y axis, then you're going to want to watch this tutorial. If you haven't watched character movement and animation, you want to head over to Synocular.com. And once you get there, go over to the Flash menu. Action script. Then you want to click Action Script 3, Com, Synocular, Utils, and KeyObject.as. You want to download the source file. And once you download the source file, you want to click on Com, Synocular.utils, like this, open it up in Flash, and delete this. After that, you want to save this file in the same directory. Your directory should look like this your KeyObject.as and your FLA to your video game and that's how it should look and if everything is set up like I just said then you're gonna have no problems so let's get started I have a content layer with my hero on it and an action script 3 layer with all my actions on it let's click on the action script 3 layer and do some actions don't get too worried about everything that's on the screen right now all this code I'll explain to you break it down for you this is all code left over from the last tutorial but I'll show you everything you need to know right here the variable key key object new key object and you set it to the stage that's that new thing you just downloaded that key object dot as this is how you need to set it up in order to, for it to work the next line is stage dot add event listener event dot enter frame on enter which is our main function that's running our hero and over here in the function this little piece of code here this controls the boundary of the hero so when he a hero goes off stage it comes on the, he comes on the other side this set of code this just controls the left and right and animation of the character so nothing too much to worry about it won't interfere with you learning how to make your character jump since we have an understanding let's start creating some of those variables that we need the first variable that I'm gonna create is dy which is the dynamic y for our hero and we're going to set it to zero. The next thing we want to set is gravity. Because what is jumping without gravity? It's flying. And I'm not teaching you how to fly, am I? And we're going to set that gravity to one. Last but not least, we are going to set a Boolean, which is can jump. Because we have to know if our hero can or can't jump. If he's in the air, then no, he may not jump. But if he's on the ground, then he may. And we're going to set that to false. Let's go inside our, our event listener function. So the first thing we want to type is we want to add gravity into the dynamic y. dy plus equals gravity. That's it. We have gravity being added to the dy. The next thing we want to add, we want to figure out is if the hero is on the ground. So if hero dot y is less than 300, we want to say that the dy equals to zero and can jump is true. We're adding the gravity and if the hero is below a certain position on the y-axis then then our hero will be able to jump and our dy will stop being added to the hero's y. So the next thing we have to do is figure out if our user is pressing the up key. If key dot is down key dot up so what we're saying is if the key from that key is down function that we just downloaded if that key is up then I want you to perform the functions that we're or the actions we're about to create but that's not it we also want to figure out if our character is allowed to jump just yet so we're gonna put can jump so we're testing if the character can jump and if the key is up. Both of those have to be in order for this to work. So what we want to do now is put the dy is equal to a negative 10. This will put our hero up in the air and now we want to say can jump equals false because you, you are jumping if you press up. Last but not least we want to connect the dy and the hero's y-axis. So hero dot y plus equal to dy. 
and that's pretty much it for the jump code. I'm just going to go over it really quickly. The gravity is added to the dynamic Y. Then the heroes check to see if he's on the ground. And if he's on the ground, the gravity stops and the can jump is true. Now we can see if somebody's pressing up and if the can jump is true, then we can change the DY to go up and can jump becomes false again until, guess what, he hits the floor again. And then we take all that information on the DY and give it right into the hero's Y. So let's test it out. We have our hero falling. Now when we press up, he flies up. And we can change that negative 10 to something smaller or larger to make our hero go really high in the sky. And that's it for jumping. Wasn't too complicated. Not one of the hardest things you've ever done in your life. Well, thanks for watching on Enter Flash. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, and go to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com, the only place where you can get the FLAs to these videos that you see. And while you're there, click on an attitude to put a few pennies in my pocket. Support on Enter Flash. It's the least you can do. A mouse click. Come on.